What's going on everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today I wanna to talk with you about one of my favorite things and that is finding shortcuts in this ever expanding 3D printing process. And today we're gonna to be talking about painting on supports with the latest Prusa Slicer. But before we do that, a quick word from today's video sponsor, which is Nico Industries. That's right, not only am I gonna be printing and showing off this Dr. Fate helmet here in today's video, but you can also go and download it for yourself over on nicoindustries.com. It's easily one of my favorite places to grab three files for cosplay, replica prop needs, and the best thing is now you have a code UJ that will save you 20% off all of your orders. Make sure to check out the links down below for nicoindustries.com, and if you're interested in printing one of these for yourself, I'll have a direct link to this amazing Dr. Fate helmet. I mean, it's a sponsor spot, but it works so well in my video channel. It's it's crazy. Thanks, Nico. So to this day, I still use Simplify 3D for almost all of my slicing needs. And the primary reason behind that was just because how easy it was to put down supports. However, the biggest challenge when it comes to printing a lot of these replica props and helmets is now I like to just put supports around the perimeter. And there's no easy way to do that without manually placing all of the supports or doing auto supports and then mass deleting a whole bunch of different supports. Well, with the new Prusa Slicer update, you can now directly paint on supports wherever you want them to be, that's where your supports will end up. And this not only works for FDM prints, but also all of your SLA prints that you're gonna be running off and using with your resin printer. So this is just a really, really wild update that they're introducing with the alpha release. Not only that, they've also introduced the ability to support, uh, they've got some default profiles in there for any cubic machines, and the Creality machines are also included with this update. I'll have links down below to Prusa Slicer uh, where you can find out the latest version of this. It's again in an alpha state. It's not really officially released yet. There's still tweaks and issues. I'm on a Mac, was running into some issues importing the profiles for Creality Machines, so I created my own and that's what we're going to be taking a look at right now. All right, so here we go. This is a 34 hour print on the CR10 S4. This is printed at a uh, point Oh, I'm getting all these. <laughs> this was printed at 0.3 uh, millimeter layer height and with a six millimeter nozzle. I'm trying to get this off as best as I can here. You can see the supports are just peeling right off. There we go. All right, we got the helmet off. We're gonna take a look and get some of these supports removed. All right, so here is the helmet. This was again a 34 hour print at 0.3 millimeter layer height with a six millimeter nozzle. I'm absolutely loving that setup and it's churned through this. I think I had a little bit of clogging there potentially uh, because the supports are just kind of crumbling off this. But I think I had to do more with my printer, less with the settings that I've set up here. The supports are removing relatively easily here, which is great. And the best part is they, again, only were placed and generated where I painted them on. I'm gonna end up just cleaning this up slightly off camera with my Dremel, and we'll come back here and take a look at this helmet in two seconds. All right, and here it is. The print is now cleaned up. I've got all the supports removed that were around the perimeter. Uh, it's still a little rough looking. This was meant to be a really quick print uh, so that I could make this video for you guys to show off the support settings with the six millimeter nozzle on the CR10 S4, but it did exactly what I was intending it to do. Just put supports around the edge here. It was really quick and easy to lay those down and it printed pretty nicely here. This is a really good foundation for me to start with if I wanted to proceed with actually finishing this and sanding it smooth and filling gaps and all that other stuff. At the moment though, I might just leave it as is because I am loving this silk gold PLA. I'll have links down below to the actual PLA that I used for this, as well as some other silk gold PLA options if you're interested in that, since it's really just super smooth when it comes to printing and how it actually looks once it's printed. Again, huge thank you to Nico Industries for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love this file here, and if you're interested, you'll find links down below. Make sure to use the code UJ to save 20% off your order as well. So if you're interested in checking out the latest with the Prusa Slicer Alpha and its paint on supports, have links where you can check that out for yourself. It's available for Mac, PC, Linux, all the good stuff that's out there. And by the way, I haven't even put this on yet, so let's try it out. Oh my God, it's a little tight fit here. Ugh, there we go. 
This helmet definitely could use some padding in here now that I've got it on, but it is a good fit. Oh my God, that was perfect. I scaled it up just a little bit. The funny thing about this helmet is if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I printed this last week. <laughs> Yeah, I printed two of these. And the first one here was slightly too small and I could not get it on my head. And the settings that I put in for Prusa Slicer just were not good at all. So I refined those over the course of a handful of days and over the weekend where we ended up with a much cleaner looking print here, a whole lot less string that I was seeing with original print here. So let me down in the comments what you think about painting on supports and if you think it's as cool as I think it is. I honestly think this is just a big game changer for the way that I can now quickly and easily apply supports to my prints. It just really streamlines the process for me. Hey, thanks again for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. I don't know any quotes from Dr. Fate and I'm wearing an Xbox shirt. <laughs>